everyone, here I am at the Glorietta Pass battlefield. Um, you're not going to get a full video tour, mostly because it's freezing here. There's still fresh ice on everything, all the trails, so brief history. Uh, 1861, Civil War starts out. We have a young up and coming, we have, not so young, we have an officer by the name uh, John Sibley, and he uh, graduated West Point, was in uh, Fort Union, and he will resign his post and go to Richmond, Virginia to meet Jefferson Davis, the new president, and he'll talk with him about a new plan of attack, which is based off of Winfield Scott Hancock's plan of the Aconda to wrap the South of all supplies um, coming in from, say, England or any other European allies that they might have been trying to get on their side at that time. Sibley proposes that he will take an army, march through New Mexico and Texas, go up to Colorado, capture Forts Union and Craig, which are the strategic strongholds of the far western theater, um, and go up into Colorado to get some of the gold mines there which could massively help with supply issues and stocks for his army. And this gets approved by Davis, who promotes him to Brigadier General. Sibley marches out here. Um, wins biggest battle in, New, in the New Mexico campaign, the Battle of Veraldi, and uh, he has about 2,600 men after the battle, and he proceeds to move more west, northern, towards Colorado in the Santa Fe area. It is here when he encounters Union forces um, going through the pass and the mesa. When on, a, on March 26, he's going to have... Um, some cavalry encounters at Apache Canyon, and um, he'll have his scouts captured the night before, which is the reason why um, they don't have that much intelligence in the winter. And then later, the 27th, they rest and tend to the wounded and bury the dead. And then on the 28th, they prepare for their final attack um, in three different locations. Pigeon Ranch, Shonson's Ranch, and Kowalski's. All of which um, have the Union fall back. But the pinpoint victory is going to be uh, Colonel John Ch Chivington's cavalry force of about four to five hundred men that go up and around the Confederate army and here is when they find the Confederate supply trains which were used as a backup in case the local New Mexico citizens <coughs> were not supportive and favorable of their sort of relievers. And Chivington, um, along with Chavez, who is his navigator, Martin Chavez, I think, who's the navigator and ultimately the real hero of this victory, <coughs> will have the entire supply train and wagons burned up and even though the Confederates technically win the field, they lose based off of the amount of supplies 
and resources that are needed to continue onward and that is the decisive end of the New Mexico campaign of the Civil War. Hope you enjoyed this short form video under six minutes. Like and subscribe and I will be posting more daily content after my Christmas trip here in Santa Fe is done. See you next time, history lovers. Bye.